to save with Judy. Well, it's that time again. We are going to empty this envelope. And I am absolutely amazed at what I have in here. I didn't dream I would do this good in June. Actually, the first of June, I thought, well, I don't think this month is going to do, do that good. But I was really surprised myself. There's no way next month can. <laughs> but anyway, let's pour all these out. Let's see how much we have and where it's going to go. Most of it is going in one place, as you will see. But this is all the challenges that we finished starting the 1st of June through the end of June. And we've already got a couple challenges that's already going to be put in the big pink envelope for next month. So anyway, I won't lie to you, I have a cheat sheet. I have figured it all up, but we will see where it's going to go. And as you know, any $1 bills that I have... I do set them aside. I don't put them into sinking funds, not those kind of sinking funds, because I use them in my Bucks binders. So let's see where we're going to go. We'll just go ahead and start. Okay, this was a challenge I finished. It was part of a group play with Elaine Realized, and it was $25. Let me... Get my calculator, and we'll add, if I don't forget, last time I did this, I kept forgetting to add it up. But we'll see if I do remember it this time. Okay, $25. And then this one was part of the group play with Kimberly, All Things Kimberly. This was the uh, May group play. We didn't finish it in June, but we finished it like the first week of May. So we have this one. It was $82. So let's... Let me move this money around just a little bit. The tens. And the fives. And the ones. Okay. Then we finished this scratcher challenge from Willow Tree Budgets. It was her Shiitake Happens. And it was $75. Oops. $75. No ones in that one. And then we had this little peanut butter and jelly challenge from Budget Paparazzi. And it is $50. And then we had this challenge from Ducky Budgets for $50. We did this one in our $5 Fridays. No one's in that one. And this was one we used in our Monday, Monday Minis by Chatty Cathy, and it was $40. And this was one of the freebies from D Plans and Budgets. This was her June, little June challenge. And it was $24. And I don't know if I put down that $50 from Ducky Budgets. I don't know. I've got a cheat sheet. So, okay, so there's a 50, $50. That's $24. And then this one was one that I finished in Monday Minis. And it was $50. And it was also from Chatty Cathy. And this one was a Monday mini one from My Girl Beauty, and it was for $30. And you know what? I've already messed up. We'll just forget forget this. I knew I would do that, and let's just... I've got a sheet. I can tell you how much it all comes to. But uh, it's kind of amazing for me anyway. And then this was Country Christmas. This was a freebie from Budget with Mama Bear and her Christmas cards last year. And we saved thirty dollars with it. And this one was gifted to me from our beautiful budgets, and it says "Walking in a Winter Wonderland," and it was for twenty-five dollars. And I do believe I'm going to clean that one up, put stickers on it, and use it again. 
Okay, this was a little uh, mitten challenge from Lady Dice Saves, and it was thirty dollars. This was one I finished in Monday Minis, and it was from Frugality in Life and Sita's Budgeting Journey, and it was for forty dollars. And this is Mr. Mushroom, which was one of my scratch-off challenges, and it's $50. And this was Lucky Ducky from Lisa Grateful Me. She gave this out when she hit her uh, 7K subscribers, and it was for $23. And this was group play with uh, Gentle Charms Budgets, and I saved $37 with it. It was called Let's Play War. That was her May challenge that we finished the first week in May, in June, I mean. Then we started another one, a different game. And this one is Coffee Break from Tasha's Budgets, and I saved $38 with it. It was a roll and save. And it was a lot of ones. And this was my other little gift from uh, Our Beautiful Budgets, and she made this one just for me. It says, Judy asked, what am I making for dinner? And I may use that one again. Okay, and it was for $25. And this one was one of the, it was a part of the collaboration between Blessed Daisy Budgets, Sarah on a Budget, and Jamie RN Budgets. And I'm not sure which one this belonged to, but it was $30. And this one was a group play one that I did last month from Robin's Documented Life. It was her Ice Ice Baby, and I saved $30, $37 with it. Okay, and this was another part of the collab with these three ladies, uh, Bless Daisy Budgets, Jamie RN Budgets, and Sarah on a Budget, and this one was $30. And this was one of mine. It was Hello Spring. And we saved $85 with it. And this was uh, from uh, Ellie on Earth. This was her group play. This uh, last, it was for uh, May, and, but I finished it in June. It's thirty-three dollars. Saving that one for last, and then we had this one. It was a scratcher from uh, Snow Gardener three hundred seven. Is don't worry, be happy. Don't not worry, be happy, and it is fifty dollars. And then this one is Coffee Please. This was one I did in my $5 Fridays, and it was for $60. It took a couple months, two or three months to finish that one. And this is the Little Squirrel Scratcher from Ellie on Earth, and I saved $50 with that one. And this was the April group play with All Things Kimberly, and I saved $54 with that one. And you can see why I'm not taking the time to count all this money. <laughs> okay, and then this was a group play with Sunshine and Chaos during the month of May. 
I mean June. We've started a new one this last week. I think this last one is parrots. Well, these were little chicks. And we saved $64 with that one. Then we finished this Shut the Box. I worked on that one for several months also. And it was $77. Okay. Then we had Aloha, and we just finished this one the other day. And it was for $125. And I had been working on that one for a long, long time. I was doing it on $5 Fridays and doing it at $5 at a time. So you can see that's why it took so long. Okay. Then we had Sunday Playing with Friends. And we saved $177 in the three months we were playing that game. I'm just wondering if we can do as well this next three months because we're starting a brand new Sunday Playing with Friends this coming Sunday. If you haven't joined me, please do. Go and download the coloring sheet and join us on Sunday. And let's see how much we can save this time. Okay. Get these clips out of the way. I'm going to sh show you the breakdown. <clears throat> Now, the biggest portion of it this time is going toward vacation because we are getting ready to go on a three-week vacation. Granted, we're not having to play, pay for a place to stay because we are staying at my daughter's. And granted, I won't be spending probably as much money as I usually do when I go to her house because she's not going to be there for two weeks, two of the weeks. And when she's there, I spend more money because we do go shopping and we... They like to go out and eat a lot and things like that. And we tend to spend more money than we do when we're staying at home. But uh, she's not going to be there for two of the weeks we're there. So I'm sure I won't be doing all that shopping and everything that we normally do. So, but anyway, I, did, I, uh, I told myself and I told Guy that this, uh, the month of June, I had already had some money from last month that I had saved in our vacation binder. But the majority of this month, was going toward vacation. The majority of July, because I'm doing my Christmas binder and I'm going to be doing a uh, 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 Christmas in July binder, majority of that's probably going to go toward Christmas other than my Monday minis. Monday minis I designate to go into other sinking fund binders like my vehicle binder, my business binder, or um, my other two sinking fund binders that has like my has furniture and medical and a loan and things like that in it. So that's what July money is going to be going to. In August, again, the majority of money that I saved that month will be going toward, I mean in September, will be going toward vacation because we're going on another vacation in October. After that, most of it will probably go toward Christmas because we're going back to Amy's at Christmas. And after the first of the year, I've already told Guy, we're concentrating on getting a couple of debts out of the way. We have a lawnmower uh, loan that where we bought a John Deere lawnmower last year. I'd like to get that thing wiped out. So come January, that's what we're concentrating on. But right now, it's vacation. But anyway, all together, we saved... You know what? Here it is. I meant to get it all on one sheet, and it didn't, but I'll do it this way. This is what we were, how it's breaking down. All together, we saved $1,596 in doing savings challenges during the month of June. I'm thrilled. I think that's the most I've ever, ever done. Of course, I had about three challenges in there that were big amounts. 1,505 of it is going into, we went for vacation and a couple of other sinking funds. $91 of it is $1 bills, and they are going into my uh, Bugs Binders, which I will be doing a separate video showing that. But anyway, then we are going to be putting, and I will do that right now, 
70, 40 of it is going into medical. So I will go ahead and put 40 of it into medical. This is one of my, these are my main two sinking fund binders right here. This one is debt and emergency, and this one is gifts and vacations, but this is my actual vacation binder. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put in 40, did I say 40? $40 into medical, and we have $11 in there, so let's put in $40, and we'll just do 20s. So it makes us $51 in medical. And this is just like if we have something extra come up that our insurance doesn't cover or maybe a, a co we're going to a doctor or we have extra copay or something like that. Okay. And then in our purple binder, we are putting $70 into Christmas. We do 6, 40, 50. 60, 70. And I already have in my little Christmas envelope. Let's just add it up all right here. And this, these are from some Christmas challenges that I finished in my Christmas binder. Let's see, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10. So we have $110 already going toward Christmas. And then in gifts, we are putting $45 in gifts. Let's, let's get, uh, use some of these tens. Forty-five, and we had some ones in there. So let's see what we have now. We have 10, 20, 30, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50 dollars in gifts. And this is just for gifts that may come up, what like maybe a graduation for somebody, or maybe a birthday for somebody that's not in the family, or a shower gift or something like that. And then we are putting 25 more into into Guy's furniture for his chair. I'm wanting to buy him a recliner so badly, but I'm trying not to get it on credit or use a credit card. So 25 more. He told me last night, he was sitting there, he said, this chair is about had it. I said, I know it is has, honey, and I'm, tr I'm working on it. <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100 dollars toward him a new chair. Okay. And we are not putting anything into our business binder this time or vehicle binder. So that leaves 1300 and $25 here and we are putting that toward vacation so I will be t now, now let me take the back that's this money here all these ones will be going into our bucks binder and I will be doing um, a vid a separate video on that so this is $91 that's going into our buck binder plus guy gave me a couple he gave me a few dollars last night that he had found that uh, a couple of E's and the uh, these I think so they will be going in there too. I stuck them in there so I'd have them when I did my video. But anyway, so that's thirteen twenty-five going into our travel binder, and I already had already had one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, six hundred, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 650 in here. So that's more than enough for us to go down there, and I'm sure we'll have money coming back. I told God that when we come back, any money that we have left over, I'm going to put it right back in here to start toward the fall vacation that we're planning on taking. So I'm just going to put this back, and this other, I think I'm going to be taking it to the bank to get some bigger denominations money and then put it in here. 
But anyway, I think we did really, really well in June. Like I said, we did finish some big challenges like the Sunday Plan with Friends, uh, the Hello Spring, the Aloha. I had I had like three that was over $100 challenges, so I did pretty good with those. I think this next month I know of one we're going to have that uh, will be over that. Mike might have two, but I don't think we'll top this, though. So I'm real pleased with this because right now... After this, most of my money will be going toward uh, Christmas and some other things. I don't think that we will top it, but we'll see. You never know. But anyway, thank you guys for being here with me today. Watch for that Bucks Challenge because I'm putting 91 more dollars, or really it's probably about 95 more dollars into that and see if we finish any. All the uh, challenges that I finish in our Bucks Binder goes toward my real, it goes into this binder for real estate taxes. That's where that money goes. But anyway, I appreciate you being here and I appreciate you watching my videos every day because you guys are the ones that's helping me do this. Between my YouTube money and my Etsy money, that's how I'm able to save and how I'm able to put money into our sinking funds. And uh, I appreciate you guys so, so much. So I'll see you later and I hope that you um, are catching my uh, video today. Also, for the um, Christmas in July and our coffee challenge. I have decided to start Christmas in July today, so watch for it too. And so watch for tomorrow because we're going to be stuffing the um, our monthly challenges and our birthday binder. And we're going to be putting more money into Christmas. And I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, I love you.